Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Thai flavored dish with zoodles. Cause it's the Offie Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Okay, so this is just a really simple spiralizer that I bought at Target, I believe. It was a few years ago, so I don't even remember. But it works pretty decent. Um, you know, these spiralizers have different attachments on them, so you'll have to find one that you like. Um, but our intent is to make zoodles, which are like this, you know, just spaghetti-shaped, um, noodle-shaped. So you gotta make sure, you know, this thing is suction cupped to the counter, and then cut the tips and the ends off the zucchini. And I usually save these. I set these aside and put them in a freezer bag and keep them in my freezer to uh, make vegetable stock. So we're just gonna get these going. And this is something, you know, this would be fun for your kids to be involved with. They probably would love to make the zoodles, if you have kids, that is. And this is a great way if you have family members that are gluten intolerant, um, this is a great, great way to have noodles because they still give you that, the feel of noodles and the look of noodles. You can have, you know, you can use these with Alfredo sauce or spaghetti sauce so that you don't have to mess with spaghetti, spaghetti noodles that are full of gluten. The same thing as that, that little end piece and the piece that comes out like that, I just save it and put it in my freezer bag and you're good to go. The one tip I'll share with you about these zoodles is that you need to just roughly make some cuts because if you don't, you're gonna end up in the pan, you're gonna end up getting this big long zoodle with your sauce on it and it just ends up flopping sauce all over the place because you can't cut your noodle. So we're gonna cut it just gently first in two or three spots to break up some of those long strands. And then we're gonna get it in the pot. Okay, so while our zoodles are cooking down, I put the temperature on medium high. We just need to cook them down a bit so they soften so that they're more like noodles. You know, they don't have that crunchiness like the raw zucchini does. So while that's cooking, we're gonna make our sauce. I already have about a third of a cup of water in my blender and I'm just gonna use my Nutri-Rollet because it's a small amount of um, ingredients. So we're gonna start with two tablespoons of peanut butter. And it's best to use creamy. You know, you can use chunky too, but I like, I think the creamy gives the sauce a better consistency. And we're gonna use one tablespoon of tamarind. And this I found at an Indian grocery store just that was in the neighborhood. But you can also order this online. That's kind of messy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, two cloves of garlic, one date. A tablespoon, I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it here, of uh, sriracha sauce. And that's gonna give it that nice bite. It's gonna be a little bit spicy. One teaspoon of Bragg's liquid amino acids. And if you don't have Bragg's, um, this is just like, a, it tastes similar to a soy sauce. So you could use tamari, or you could use just like a light sodium soy sauce. And then we have the juice of two limes. Okay, and now we're just gonna blend it until it's a very 
uniform creamy sauce. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to invite you to click the subscribe button and then the little bell notification so that you can get notified every time we put out a new show here on YouTube. Be sure to check out our growing line of printable cookbooks, guides, and apparel. We also offer free and paid memberships on our community website. And last but not least, be sure to head over to our official website at plantbasedcookingshow.com to browse through hundreds of original recipes, tips, and resources on plant-based living. Okay, back to the show. Okay, there's our sauce. And once our zoodles are ready, we'll just pour the sauce over it and then we can eat. Okay, the zoodles are done. You can see, and this was four zucchini. So you see how much they cook down. If you can see that, they're so pretty. They're still green and vibrant looking. So now we're just gonna add our other ingredients. I have just a handful of cherry tomatoes that I've chopped in half, maybe about five ounces, and two spring onions. And we need to pour the sauce. And mix that up a little bit. And there's, you know, there's water that comes out of the zucchini when you cook it. So it gives it a little bit more liquid for the sauce. But if you like it to be thicker, if you don't like, um, more of the liquid, so it makes it kind of like a, a soup bowl almost, you know. Um, you can cut back on a little bit of the water in the sauce. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little in my bowl. This is going to be messy. Get some of those tomatoes in there. And then I like to sprinkle just a little bit of black sesame, sesame seeds, or you can use like toasted sesame seeds. I just happen to like the flavor of these black ones. Then we can dig in. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is so delicious. This is great for even the hot of summer that it is right now. This is still really light, and zucchinis are in season, so mmm, enjoy and I'll see you next time.